Greetings everybody, I am the Soviet Warlord and we have a little bit of a crisis going on. A uh, 5i cruiser has come dangerously close to combat range, so I'm going to go and engage it. We don't have long before it's on top of us. It seems to be heading right towards us, so we're going to intercept it. Now I have to be careful because the latest patch makes this thing really, really annoying. Okay. We're going to intercept it. Now I can't fly over 200 meters per second or I violently lose control. Right, where's its guns? It's going to have a lot of them. Uh, that is one big ship. Under 600 meters, they open fire. 500? 400? 400 meters, maybe? They don't seem to be engaging me. Oh, now they are. There we go. See another one. There we go. There's another there. Oh shit, they're gunning for me. Oh, I've lost a piece. That's another one. There we go. Couldn't seem to kill that one. Oh! Oh my god, they got me. <laughs> Holy shit, I think we might have just lost our victory. Right, let's get back there and check it out. Yeah, there's, there's nothing left of this thing. It's completely fucked. Look at the damage. What was that? That must have been a rocket that went straight into the front. Fuck. Okay, that's... That bit there is useless. Where is my body? Here. Yeah. Is my backpack still floating around? No, I don't see my backpack anywhere. I'm going to have to make some new tools. Right, shit. Okay. Lost lot lost a lot of the front armor here. This is all fucked. Thrusters are intact. Every single one of them is intact, in fact. Well obviously it's got no cockpit whatsoever. Uh, the conveyors appear to be intact and It's only, it hasn't even lost a single gun. In fact, it hasn't even gone through the front armour. But it has lost its shipcracker rifle again. It's, I can see sparks on the inside there. That must have been some of the internal damage. The reactor is still intact though, which is a good sign. Uh, is there any way I can access this inventory from here? Probably not. Right, I'm going to go get a ship and salvage this. It's really badly damaged. Right. I mean, I had to give it a go. I was going to take some serious damage one day. Right, I'm going to go get a ship. I'll be back in a moment. I'm telling you, this is not what the tunnel was designed for. Well, at least the ship didn't move while I was out here. Right, let's, uh, let's see if I can salvage this thing. now. There we go. Got it. This is going to be a pain in the backside to turn, but it needs to come back. I'm not losing the victory over this. There might be a chance to modify the design. But I did not intend to lose the victory before the base was operational. 
so much for a flagship fighter craft. Ah, oh, that fucker is coming back as well. Or he might be flying away. I don't know. Right, I'm going to take this back. There we go, it's back in action. Yeah, it took me a little bit to get all the pieces back in place and um, fix it correctly, but hey, everything works. I've pretty much ironed out all the bullet holes and it looks almost brand new. Uh, all the thrusters have been repaired. The guns are back in place. The ship cracker is ready to go. And uh, yeah, it's looking just as good as it was before. The only thing it's missing is it's ammunition. That's a 2D auxiliary. As long as it doesn't come any closer, I won't hunt it down. But uh, yeah, I'm just getting the um, the gun parts for it at the moment. I think I can use this. Yep. Should have some good, yep some ammo for this. Let's load the victory up. Right, so. Rifles down the bottom. Let's load this into the ship cracker. Thirty-nine shots. Forty bullets. There we go. Oh yeah, they're coming packs of four. I totally forgot about that. There you go. We're ready to go. I think I can drive this around and shoot it again. And it's just as good as it was before. I've actually taken the time to put some landing gear on it too. Okay, so let's park this up and get on with what we were doing before, shall we? Okay, we're getting somewhere. So I've dug some more of this place out. It's looking quite cavernous now. I still haven't done anything with these hangars. Um, I don't plan to as of yet until I build the pipe work. There's a point. What does this, um, what does this little walkway look like? Yeah, it's going to be three wide. This is going to need a little bit of, uh, I don't know, it's going to need a bit of sprucing up before it looks nice. And this rock needs to go. It's looking really, really bad. But that's just, that's infrastructure. I can do all that later. My main concern is to get this place up and running, get it um, functional. So um, this is going to be uh, the staging area, the sort of main airlock. So what I need here is some slopes, some light armor slopes. Uh, can you get, yeah, light armor slopes. 
Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, get rid of that. I just need this. Right. So I need to dig this out. That's going to be quite a job. Let me get the tunnel bore here. See, so yeah, this needs digging out. A lot of it. Now, I know it's the big vein of iron, so I've actually been um, drilling some of this out properly with the tunnel bore because I want to stockpile more iron. After all, it refines almost instantly and it's just free materials, so why wouldn't I? I also understand there's a nice vein of uranium in here, which is going to serve me brilliantly. Uh, once I get to it, obviously. Or if I get to it, you know, I never, might never dig that way. That will do to begin with and give me some light. Right, so the floor here needs to go one out, like so. Then I need a slope. No, not like that. What am I doing here? I need the uh, tip, obviously. There we go. The tip of the ramp like that and the next one needs to be the full size like so I need to repeat this a few times now I'm just going to put in the bottom layer of this just so I don't don't ruin the layout because I still need to put pipe work in so I can't afford to airtight this place yet more now this has no particular purpose it's just literally here to look nice um, so this is going to be one two three four five six is that seven I've got here yeah I intended it to be eight Now the problem I have is that if I do that all the way along, for that it's going to take forever. It's going to be a very long way. So let's get some ramps. Light armor slope, that's what I need. Okay, so let's put in another light armor block just here. and then put the slope in here yeah because that's now three I suppose I could make one more uh, two by one so if I put another light arm block here to help it with air tightening up later I can then put in the slope in the other way and I'm trying to think how this would work now would I need the full size slope yeah I would This is basically just helping to give it a gradual transition because uh, this is going to be a staging area so I want to store some stuff. This part here is also going to be um, it's going to be airless, it's going to have no atmosphere. It's going to be part of the um, outside of the station when the doors are open. According to my plans anyway. So it's important. It's not important that I airtight it but it needs to be somewhat presentable. But I don't want rock showing, I want this to be a full fledged part of the station. Okay, so that's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Let's, um, let's put three more armor blocks in. Just regular old armor blocks. This is going to take a while. <laughs> this is all these little rocks that float around when you mine. 
I always completely underestimate the area that I need to build with as well. So one, two. Three, just like that. So that should be eight blocks. Can't tell from here just because of the amount of distance, but this looks like a good staging area. What I plan to have from here is some catwalks and an airlock which begins here. So I'm going to put the um, wireframe down here and I'll join you in just one second. Okay, we are, we are achieving very much here. I've dug some more out of the back and I've set up a wireframe for what I want to do. Um, I've also fleshed out the floor because beyond this wall here is the airtight, the inner sanctum, the bit where I'm going to live. Uh, I'm going to potentially use this as a way to get out to the tower down this end towards the walkway. Um, the tunnel is going to have to dig quite a ways down because the power core is a bit further in. Now, the control room I want directly above me here. So uh, I'm going to build a stairwell here and a stairwell just here. And um, that way I can have a corridor down the middle leading to my power supply and all of the inner workings. But um, this is the airlock. I'm going to make it three by three. I think I'm going to go three high, but I don't know yet. It depends how I can pipe air to it. I might have to pipe the air underground considering what I've got going on up here or I could try and filter it in from the control room above if I can hide the pipe but that's entirely for a speculation so let's put the floor in here um, obviously I will paint this all in my free time uh, off camera just like this oh thought that was damaged for a moment this space station is going to look amazing when I've uh, got it up and running and it's functional. Ooh. That's going to annoy me. Yeah, knowing that there's no block behind that would annoy me a lot. <laughs> so, there we go. Um, and that was a half slope. Oh yes, because it's missing the block back here, okay. Like that. Yeah, I can't be doing those little hinges in the floor. That will just annoy me so much. Now this area back here is nothing particularly special. It's just a sort of blank space at the moment. I haven't really decided what to do with this. But I am going to build some catwalks and more accessibility to the upstairs if I can coincide the control room with what I have down here. I haven't really fleshed out what I want for the control room yet, so I can't really comment on that. Ooh, used all my plates already. Flipping hell. All these, like, ships just queuing to get in. <laughs> Even if I get all this, I'll be able to put my ships in, but I won't be able to fit the, uh, the mobile mining station anywhere yet. That's a that's a whole new project on its own. I don't even know how I'm going to store the mobile mining station. I really don't. I might just have to dig a hollow underneath the asteroid and just tuck it away inside there. But I've got no idea how to store it. I, I really I, I don't. Just put it straight up. Um, I want to put some text and some sort of technical stuff around here because it's going to look pretty nice. Make this place into a sort of um, like an engineering area. Put the appropriate signage up, that sort of thing. That's good, no seams. Don't want any of the seams to leak through. I forgot how much power this welder uses as well. So much. I'll fill up the floor one moment. There we go. So, um, I've set out the frame here. Uh, the floor is done. Now, I've got an idea here. 
but I'm going to need something else. Uh, the only thing that has these is Telemon catwalk stairs. Um, these diagonal things, they used as um, stairs quite a lot rather than windows. But um, let me just build one and see. Because if I mix these with the uh, catwalks up here, do this. This is going to be hard to build. Okay. Um, is there anything here that's going to require these? Yeah, because the thing is, I don't think they go, like the styles. This has got a rim and that one hasn't. Okay, uh, let's see, what do these Telemont ones look like? Let's have a Telemont catwalk stairs. I want ones with a railing. I need a corner, more than likely. These look as though they won't be too bad. But essentially what I want is a catwalk that starts about here. No, here. Oh crap, these need steel plates. Okay. I didn't actually think they needed steel plates. Yeah, they, they just need steel plates rather than uh, interior plates. That suits me fine. Let me dispose of those. Get out plenty of those. Let's give it a try. Well, obviously I can walk up them, which is good. Um, Now if I tear this away, good, that's, that's not going to float away, that was my main worry. Okay, now I want two turns in the catwalk, so that's good, that comes up just fine. Now I want some stairs next to this. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Wrong way around. That looks terrible. That's better. Like that. And then one more to go up. To the top floor. Like so. Now I need a catwalk with one railing. I need it to be one up, like so. Now the catwalk plates will need to have no railing to get around there. Now I can't have diagonal railings, which it does suck. Actually, what do these large ones look like? There's a large corner here. What's the inverted one as well? Yeah, what's what is actually the difference? Oh, okay, yeah, the um, the inverted ones on the top half of the block. Okay, that's probably what I'll need actually. No, that's not what I need, it's the wrong way around. Never mind. Yeah, because what I want is a way to get up onto this place. But I'm going to need two more airlocks, because obviously this place is outside. And I want this to be a direct access to the control room, provided I can do that. 
so I might put a window here. The problem having a window is this leaves a very small space to work with. Unless I make this the airlock. This little bit up here the airlock and the control room beyond it. That could work. But I kind of like having a much more open space. So this is all going to be windows. It's going to be pretty difficult to see past it. Let's put these catwalk plates in. Yeah, I'm not used to the new rotation controls yet, so uh, get used to it. The plates don't really match, to be honest. Hmm. I'm starting to think the slightly lowered one was going to look better. But you don't, we don't have a lowered one with a railing on it. But these mag boots. These mag boots are annoying sometimes. Okay, so let's put... Let's put in some more. Okay, now it's going to have to be the block above. Like that. No, no, this one's going to have a railing. Of course it has. And this one. Okay, so this one has a railing on it. And this is all going to lead into a doorway along here to get inside the base. I'm going to have the same on the other side. Beautiful. I reckon that's going to look really nice with some lights and text behind it. Might put a support here to make it look like this balcony has been held up. I think it just adds a little bit more character to this area. It's, I don't want it being blank. But yeah, I'm going to leave it like that for now. Um, I need to go through my paper plan, so I'm going to leave the episode right here. I'm not going to put doors in yet because they're not powered. There's no point. So. Uh, I'm going to leave it here and work on my plan a little bit more. So from me, I do hope you've enjoyed. And I hope you'll tune in next time. I'm hoping to get this control room ready and have the area for the power core fleshed out. We might even be able to get something online or some power grids online next episode, but that's quite ambitious. So from me, the Soviet Warlord, I will see you guys later. Have a good one and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.